welcome back. I'm Canada's biggest Goosebump fan, and today this is episode 90 of the Goosebump series. And before I start this video, I just want to say thank you for 100 subs. It really means a lot to me, and I hope I can keep growing my community here. And just to let you know, I am going to be doing some more uh, filming location videos when the weather gets better. The weather is getting a little better, but soon you'll be seeing more content like that. For the TV show. So today I am doing another review. This is for Horrorland number seven. My friends call me Monster. Just before I do this, there's one thing you should know about Horrorland is that all the first hundred pages relates to the cover and the title. So this story is going to be about my friends call me Monster and the picture here. And then the last 30 pages are going to be where all the where the main protagonist goes to Horrorland and meets up with all the other main characters from the previous books. So if you haven't already, go check out my past reviews on the Horrorland books to get all caught up. So, this book is about a boy named Michael and his two friends. This isn't m much about um, the siblings or like, usually it's all about, oh, um, Michael, who's 12 years old, has a sister, Sarah, who's 9. Um, but this is more about Michael and his two friends, Dwayne and Daisy. So they don't like their teacher at all. They just try... the Mrs. H. Mrs. H just tries to give uh, Michael and his two friends so much trouble. Uh, so they wanted revenge. So Mrs. H is very superstitious, so they got a neighborhood ca cat and was going to put it a black cat, and which everyone should know that that's like a very superstitious thing. It gives you really bad luck, and they were going to put a neighborhood black cat in her house. They didn't really know where to put it, but so they decided to put it in her attic because they were going to hear scratching, and when she went up there, she'd be like, ah, a cat, a black cat, bad luck, bad luck. So when they went in the attic, they saw this huge egg. It was big, and um, yeah, but Mrs. H just walked in, and so they had to hide behind something, and then Mrs. H comes in, starts talking to the egg, and then touching the egg, and then she <laughs> sits on the egg. <laughs> and all the kids are like, what? What's happening? Why is Mrs. H sitting on an egg? And then she falls asleep, and then they just got out of there as quickly as they could. They didn't want to get caught. Um, yeah, so then, so then M Michael, Michael went back on his own because his friends didn't want to go back because that egg thing was weird. And, um, he was looking around and... Then he went in the attic to go look at that egg. And then happens, Mrs. H comes up, and he hid, obviously. And the egg starts cracking, and then there's this monster thing. And Mrs. H starts saying, oh, hi, my baby. <laughs> so then uh, Mrs. H goes downstairs with the baby alien, whatever it is, and goes into the basement, and Michael follows. And then there's this whole other room of these monster things and starts feeding them like raw meat and, and yeah. And then he had to leave because this was creeping him out so much. And then he goes and tells um, Daisy and Dwayne and they're like, no, that's not true. You're just making stuff up. You watch too many science fiction movies. Uh, so then Michael was fed up with them and just went back on his own with, to take some pictures. And then he knew something about, like, some eggs that she was going to be feeding the whole school. And then uh, Mrs. H spots Michael outside trying to take pictures on the inside of this alien thing. And then Mrs. H is like, oh, hello. Um, you want to come in for some eggs? And then Michael's like, nah, I just ate breakfast. And then Mrs. H is like, oh, come on, come on. So basically, um, Michael had to eat the eggs forceful, forcefully by Mrs. H, and he, she, he, uh, he turns into a monster and got thrown in the basement with all the other monsters. But then Mrs. H leaves and 
Daisy and Dwayne come back and open the basement door, and Michael was like, wow, 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 they can actually help me. So somehow Michael figures out a way to get their attention and make it like that is Michael and not some random creature that they don't know. So then he went back upstairs and started eating the rest of the eggs because somehow he figured out that those eggs would turn him back into a human. So, a half human. Well, there was not enough eggs, so he he had to, um, he was able to speak because his head was normal, but his hands were all scaly and stuff. But then, Michael went, Michael, Dwayne, and Daisy thought of somewhere to go where someone would actually believe them. So, and then they realized that the principal had said to them, the cool principal had said to them that he lives on the same street as Mrs. H. So then they rush over to his house trying to tell him the story, but then the principal is sitting on an egg. <laughs> it's just a crazy story, and Michael ends up finding more eggs to eat. You, uh, well, yeah. Now we go into Horrorland, and all he joins the rest of the kids, and he um he finds out more about Panic Park, and they all figure out more about Panic Park, and they're trying to get into Panic Park. And at the end of this book, Michael actually does end up going to Panic Park, but doesn't know how to get out or bring his friends in. Yeah. Bye, guys. That's all. Just make sure to go down below. We have filming locations and more book reviews just like this one. I'm going to be doing more filming location videos soon uh, in the next few weeks, so make sure to stay tuned. And bye, guys.